Hello everyone, my name is Susan Paris and I'm part of the European Technical Marketing Team at Active Concepts. In today's masterclass, we'll discuss how free radicals constantly attack our bodies and how we can protect ourselves from these dangers by choosing specific antioxidant raw materials for a finished cosmetics product. Let's first examine what free radicals are in order to better understand the negative effects they produce. Free radicals are defined as molecules that are highly chemically reactive because they have an uneven amount of electrons, or a negatively charged subatomic particles. When a molecule loses an electron, making the amount of electrons uneven, we refer to the electron left as ampere. Having an ampere electron makes a molecule become unstable. When a molecule is unstable, you can picture it as very angry and wanted to steal an electron from a surrounding molecule in effort to stabilize itself. But in doing so, this will render the molecule who had an electron stolen from it unstable. This causes a domino-like chain reaction of unstable chemical compounds. Free radicals are frequently a consequence of the numerous chemical interactions taking place in our bodies, which result in low levels of oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is the result, though, when the domino reaction that produces free radicals happens more frequently and more quickly than the body can eliminate them. In fact, oxidative stress, or oxidation, comes from the domino effect that free radicals have on our biological systems, where we have a larger number of angry molecules trying to take electrons from other molecules to stabilize themselves. Oxidative stress damages caused to the skin vital components, leading to accelerated signs of aging, such as wrinkles or age spots. Not only does oxidation escalate aging with wrinkles, it is also attributed with causing dry skin, dark circles under the eyes, the dueling of skin and decrease in elasticity. UV radiation, cigarette smoke, pollutants, foreign substances and aging increase oxidative stress. Moreover, when intrinsic antioxidant capacities are reduced, such as during aging, an imbalance between pro- and antioxidant systems further accentuate the hallmarks of cellular aging. It is important to know that free radicals are both a cause and result of inflammation. The idea of implementing is also very prominent, where this theory, developed in 2000 by the Italian Claudio Franceschi, is described as our body slowly accumulating damaged cells and molecules over time as we age, and eventually the accumulation of these damaged cells can lead to an unwanted inflammation in the body. This inflammation has been shown to frustrate some of our biological processes, causing us to age faster, and can often worsen many age-related diseases. It becomes difficult when the damage from free radicals causes inflammation, and chronic inflammation leads to the production of more free radicals, and this continues the cycle, causing more and more inflammation. This never-ending cycle is ultimately behind age-associated inflammation. The ongoing interest in free radicals has increased the need for techniques on how to measure free radicals and their effects on biological processes. This research is constantly evolving and opens the door to investigate the best ways to harness biological function for use in the fight against premature skin aging and the promotion of healthy, youthful skin. Current efforts in the industry focus on the development of active ingredients that will contribute to increased cell protection, cellular longevity and improve barrier function. We may then prevent, rather than repair, damages caused by oxidative stress. Through topical application of specific compounds, we may be able to really prevent damages to a place. We can then trigger the toxification process, attenuating excessive growth and reduce lipid peroxidation. Let's look at each of these topical solutions one by one to find out how they might help us to maintain the beauty of our skin over time. Autophagy is a biological process that identifies toxins within the cell and removes or recycles the damaged cellular components. The removal of cellular damage regulates skin cell survival and function. A healthy autophagy means an innate and adaptive immunity. 
Causes of unhealthy autophagy are UV radiation, stress, pollution, free radicals, inflammations. If your body is in a state of unhealthy autophagy, this means that aging process and dermal inflammation may accelerate. Dermal integrity is reduced, collagen levels are de degraded, and melanogenesis increased. A reduction in autophagy leads to an accumulation of cellular damage, increases inflammation, compromising cellular metabolism, and causing aging at the cellular level. Cellular detoxification can be manipulated thanks to the topical application of certain ingredients, which has demonstrated to trigger autophagy in dermal fibroblasts. Activating this biological detoxification process maintains skin homeostasis and counteracts the age-related decline in skin cell function, resulting in a healthier and stronger skin. ROS, reactive oxygen species, is a general term used to describe reactive molecules and free radicals. And reactive oxygen species produced by mitochondria pose more of a risk and trigger aging more than environmental ROS factors. Oxidation from ROS is often noted as harmful because the oxygen-free radicals attack biological molecules such as proteins, a cascade of lipid peroxidation, and DNA, causing irreversible damage. Oxygen-containing free radicals are considered to be the most damaging free radicals due to their high relative energy of molecules and the number of unpaired electrons. Attenuating aggressive roles preserves cellular homeostasis and reduces increasing and extrinsic age-related declines in skin cell function. Skin homeostasis is altered by a combination of internal and external stimuli that stimulate high levels of ROS that amplify DNA mutation, cellular senescence, protein oxidation, and collagen degradation. Data demonstrate that certain ingredients scavenge an unnecessary ROS, which may help to attenuate the characteristic of cellular aging. MDA lipid peroxidation assay is useful for quantitatively measuring the end product of lipid peroxidation and determining oxidative stress. MDA is frequently used as a biomarker for oxidative stress and in the case lipid peroxidation, the breaking down of lipids due to cellular stress. An increase in MDA indicates an increase in lipid peroxidation and oxidative stress within the cell. MDA assay assess the ability of certain raw materials to attenuate lipid peroxidation in cultural epidermal keratinocytes. A decrease in lipid peroxidation represents a decrease in lipid oxidation resulting in less cellular damage, providing a protective effect against lipid oxidation and cellular damage, which may help to mitigate the characteristic of cellular aging. Understanding what are free radicals and how they can negatively impact skin homeostasis and the condition of our skin help us to establish an effective skincare regime with antioxidant features that can mitigate the effects of free radicals. My name is Susan Paris. Thanks for watching this masterclass with Active Concepts.